everyone, this is Marcy from My Pretty Posh Princess, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really adorable pacifier or binky clips that are attached to one of these great clasps. So let's get started. What you're going to need for the project is a nylon cord, the color of your choice, and some teething beads. We carry everything in our shop so you can find everything at etsy.com slash shop slash posh princess supply or my pretty posh princess.com keep in mind that all of our teething beads are 100 percent food grade silicone fda approved so they're bpa free and they are safe um, for your little ones and infant to put in their mouth or as a sensory necklace however you're going to use it so today i'm going to make a valentine's day themed binky or pacifier clip and I'm actually going to use a white cord but this is just some examples of colored cord that we have in our shop. So I have already designed kind of how I want my binky clip to look and I'm going to use a bead board. We carry these in our shop as well. We have them in pink, we have them in gray, they come in super handy, they keep your beads from rolling around on you and then hold your design in place. It also has the measuring tools on the side which is going to come in handy for projects like this. I want to use about 25 inches of the nylon cord and so I'm just going to use my beading tray here as a guide and it's okay if it's too long. If it gets too long, there's a fix for that. That, I mean, if this one's too long, I can show you in the end. And if it ends up being right, I can show you another time. So, now that we have our nylon cord cut, which kind of looks a little short. Hopefully it's not too short. Now that we have the nylon cord cut, you're going to need to use either a lighter. Um, I prefer this one, it's a little bit longer. Be very careful, obviously, anytime that you're using fire, you're going to sear the edges and you want it to get bubbly. And it's okay if it kind of catches fire, just blow it out. But you need to be pretty quick to then stick the edges together. And you need to hold them on there. Remember, it's gonna be hot, so be really careful. You can kind of push this down like this. It won't matter, it looks a little ugly because it's white. If you're using a black cord, you really wouldn't be able to see the discoloration. But it really won't matter because we'll have beads hiding it. So it feels like it's cooled off. And now, that makes this really strong. So I'm really, really pulling on this. I don't know if you can see the indents here. I'm really pulling. This is incredibly strong. So we've made a loop with our nylon cord. Another trick that I like to have handy is a piece of wire. You can use a paper clip. Um, I'm actually just using a piece of the 0.45 millimeter tiger tail wire that we carry in our shop as a guide. We have, I've already made this design, like I said, we have from these different options. So in the shop we have different types of clips. I'm gonna use a white one for this one. We have it in a variety of different colors. We have a lot of different focal beads. So these are just a couple. And I've decided on a flower. But we do have other focal beads that you could, you could use. Now, either using a dissembled paper clip or a, pa or a piece of wire like I had, you're going to put one edge in like this and put it right here through and that just helps us pull it through so that's the only purpose of that but trust me it, it's very handy now we have it on there we are going to take the other loop and pull it through to create a knot on the edge so there's the knot on our clip this is the clip and it's okay if it slides around. Now you can, if you want, tie another knot right here. I'm not going to 
for this demonstration, but you definitely could. It doesn't serve any safety purpose, but it does add a design element. So now I'm gonna use my wire again, and I'm going to start threading these on. Now, if it has a hard time going through, you can use something like needle nose pliers, which we carry these exact ones in our shop to help you pull it through. Sometimes they, sometimes because this is so thick, it does get a little bit stuck, but we are, we are good to go. Okay, so we're gonna pull these on and I am actually going to do this quietly so I can speed it up and I'll show you how to finish it. So keep watching, and here we go. Okay, now that we have all of our beads on the nylon, how we want them, we're going to take and tie a knot. This is gonna secure those beads on this end. And you wanna try to get it as close to that, that here as possible, so you can see that. And I don't know if I mentioned before, the type of beads that I'm using here, this is a 14 millimeter hexagon 15 millimeter round. I apologize. This is a look. 12. <laughs> 12 millimeter round, 15 millimeter round, 12 millimeter round. And then the same sizes on the other side. So you can use any sizes and combinations that you want. I just really like this one. So now you can, from here, you can attach a binky or a pacifier straight to it. So just like I've done here. Or, if you would like, you can attach a teether. So on this one, let me bring this one back over here, so you can see how I have strung, well I'm actually gonna show you how I strung, I put this on here, but I'm gonna set this here for you. You can take a look. So you can put your own binky on there. We do this for our infant, and we actually have this attached to the strap of the car seat. And so, because I have two older kids that they're five and seven, so when we're going somewhere, if the baby is fussing and we're not in the back seat, it's easy for my kids to find the binky because if it's not on here, a lot of times it gets lost down in the seat so they can easily retrieve it because it's attached to her the car seat strap. So that's why I really like. I use that for that frequently. But you can also attach a focal or a teether on here. This is a really cute elephant one. We have this in our shop and we have it in, I don't even know how many different colors, a lot of different colors. You could attach it through here, you could attach it through here. I'm gonna attach it here. And this is removable, so you can change it out and put different ones on the end if you'd like. So I have the elephant, I'm gonna put it through here. And this is super simple. Then you're just gonna take the clip, pull it down and voila you have a teether now there's a teether on the end that's completely removable it's safe the baby's not going to get it off remember your infant is not going to be pulling on this as hard as i'm pulling on it right now or you would be but you can get this back off if you want to then put a different focal or if you want to put a binky on it you can take it back off if you want to take it off to wash it um, wash it in warm soapy water. You can let it soak how you soak your bottles, anything like that. That works great. So that is how you make a pacifier clip using only knots, using ties. That is extremely strong and extremely safe. Remember, you can find everything that we use today in this tutorial in our Etsy shop or on our website.
and all of our teething beads and pendants are BPA free 100% food grade silicone. You can find your tools, even those pliers, you can find your trays, you can find wire as guide, everything that you need. So we hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us any comments of future tutorials you'd like to see and head to our Etsy shop now and stock up on some of these really fun beads. Make your own binky clips. Thanks. Thank you.